so our job uh, next is to repair this hole in our front passenger side wing. Um, if we we look around, it's uh, pretty solid on on the floor, um, and we're just missing um, a chunk out here. What it looks like is that the front bumper has been hit at some point, um, and it's put a big scrape in the wing, and uh, it's also had a deformation up here. Right, so we've uh, cut this corner out. Okay, there's a, a support in here, which is my plan. I'm just gonna take a little bit more out of this top, and that support will be where we can weld the top of this triangle to. Um, and then I'm gonna keep this seam uh, there. We're gonna grind off our excess down the bottom and we're going to scrape out all this mud and stuff and this mud would cause us quite a lot of rot in the long term uh, it's quite sandy um, and we're going to check um, that there's no big uh, dilemmas in here that's going to cause us big problems um, and we're looking all the time for somewhere that we could potentially um, put in some wax oil or some rust prevention in here uh, in the long term that, that we're not going to um, have to repair it again in the future. Right, so um, it's been spot welded down this seam previously and along this seam and about two spot welds in, in that little area in there. Uh, we've ground off all the original metal um, and you can see uh, where some of the spots have, have been. A circle there, there, there um, and about there. So we'll clean this up a bit more. We can see our supporting um, piece in here. What we're going to do is we're going to try and use that as a nice uh, place that we can get the um, seam here all nice and flat with um, and we'll get this this welded up to this seam here um, which is going to need slightly bent out the way um, we'll be using some filler um, in the end, just to, to make it as smooth as we possibly can, um, but it's going to look a lot better than it did with its uh, rusty old hole afterwards. So. Uh So we've uh, made the panel to fit, uh, you'll see that I've drilled a few holes 
and the bottom edges of this. This panel um, that has been cut out was originally spot welded. Um, I don't have any way of making spot welds, so this is a different technique for doing that. If you drill out the hole um, and then weld it through to the, the piece of metal behind it, it makes the same kind of connection as a spot weld. Um, and we're going to just start off by uh, tacking it all the way around and then we can remove the clamps and things and then we can do a nice seam uh, and grind that back uh, where necessary. Here we are, all uh, tacked in. Um, probably more tacks than I needed, um, but it's nice and secure. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to now do the top and right hand side seam, and uh, we'll uh, then get the, to, to blending it and, and doing final finish on it. I'm quite happy with how it's going so far. Um, I've got a little dent in here that will need some filler, but we're going to have to to fill and tidy up anyway um, as we go. So uh, it's looking good so far.
Right, um, so what we've done, uh, seamed across the top of here and ground it back uh, reasonably flat. It's going to get buffed and filled a bit more. Um, seam down here, we've spotted and um, spotted welded uh, that bottom seam and then this front edge around here we've also seam welded um, I left enough steel for an overlap um, to do a seam weld down there and um, so it's uh, all nice and filled up I'm quite happy and um, the little bits of gap and things that we've got uh, are going to fill in nicely with a, a little bit of body filler and um, there's no uh, breaks in the seam so that's really what I was after um, so it's nice strong weld nice strong replacement we'll get that in rust proof primer very quickly um, I might do a, bit, a little bit of body filling first um, but there is a spit of rain at the minute so I might uh, not do that immediately.